24-year-old suspect from the officer-involved shooting in Rancho Cordova now facing attempted murder charges of officers tonight. Thanks for staying with us at 530. I'm Marley Ginter. And I'm Curtis Mang. This started with an attempted break-in of a home on Agibi Way and then a shooting on Malaga Way. CBS 13's Tori Apodaca with why the suspect is now facing those attempted murder charges. Yeah, out here by the Matherfield Light Rail Station on the road is where that 24-year-old suspect, identified as Kiriana Lyles, ultimately ended up surrendering to police. Now, the Sacramento County Sheriff's Office still cannot tell us if she threatened them with that butcher knife or the car that she was driving during the pursuit. And I had a gut feeling something was going to happen. A bullet through a window and casings on the ground. I just didn't know what was going to happen and how it was going to happen. Jacob Perkins says he suspected something was off that day with 24 year old Kiriana Lyles, who is now facing attempted murder charges of police officers. Oh, she's making a big mistake. Perkins and his partner rent a room from the suspect. You can tell there's a bullet hole right in that window going straight into the house. Thankful they weren't home when it happened. And then all of a sudden I heard four gunshots. Investigators say Lyles was holding a butcher knife trying to break into her neighbor's home. When police confronted Lyles in her car on this driveway, two officers fired their guns at her, one bullet hitting her in the arm. I'm also hearing that she was threatening to stab a cop at the time with the butcher knife. The Sacramento County Sheriff's Office cannot confirm if she threatened officers with a knife or if she used the car as a weapon, but they do say a suspect's actions will dictate how officers respond. I can tell you real quick, just, I mean, on my best day and your worst day, if you have a knife, uh, you can close that distance within seven yards before I can even get my gun out. The suspect's neighbors. People moving in and out, and I think they were doing drugs. Hoping this is the last crime scene they'll see on their street. I was upset and crying and scared she to death. She was more scared. So we won't really know what that exchange between the suspect and officers looked like until that body camera video is released. Right now, Kiriana Lyles is behind bars at the Sacramento County Jail and she'll be in court tomorrow.